శ్రీవాసరంగ పరకాల ముత్రయాప్త లక్ష్మాత్మరక్షణ దిద్యుగాగమాంతం ఆచార్య భక్తి పరిపూతమర్గశీలం గోపాల దేశిక ముని గురుమాశ్రయామ టుడే వి హ్యావ్ గ్యాదర్డ్ టు క్లియర్ అవర్ అరియర్స్ బికాస్ మార్గడి తై డ్యూరింగ్ అనధ్యయన కాలం వీ కుడ్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ దిస్ సెలబ్రేషన్ of tondaradi podi alvar tirumaishi alvar periya nambi kura narayana jiyar embar alvar acharya tirunakshatram we are gathering at uh, shri sheshagiri swami so a much more deserving bhagavatotama sheshagiri swami in his tirumaligai we are celebrating alvar acharya tirunakshatram which be, which befits the celebration so we would uh, start off chronologically first tondaradi padiyalvar tondaradi padiyalvar who calls himself as the dust at the feet of bhagavatas swami tondaradi padiyalvar original name was vipra narayana he was born in a very orthodox conservative brahmin family in tir mandangudi in tamil nadu he was supposed to be the amsam of vanamali vijayanti mala amsam and he was born in jeshtha nakshatram kettai nakshatram of margari masam right from the childhood he had an intense bhakti on lord vishnu especially the lord sri ranganathan of sri ranga so with the with the divine intervention with an intense desire to perform kaikaryam tulasi mala kaikaryam he had cultivated a tulasi garden nandavana in his tirumaligai and he was offering the tulasi mala and the flowers to perumal every day there is a story in his life that there was a celestial dam cell who by name deva devi came into his life and he distract she distracted him for some time and then he repented the grave error that he had committed however this particular story is brushed aside and rejected by our acharyas especially sri uttamur swami saying that since alvar tondradi podi alvar in one of his verses was was completely rejecting the the bahya matams the veda viruddha matams the non vaidika avaidika matams so the kutrushtis so because he came very strongly that he would even cut their heads behead them if they if they go against the veda margam so because he was so strong people started spreading rumors about him they concocted this story that's what sri uttam swami's commentary says he sincerely believed always swami alvar that he is the devotee of the devotees tod vritya vritya paricharaka vritya vritya vrityasya vritya iti maam smaraloka nata in mukandamala kulasegar alvar says kulasegar alvar himself says in one of his tamil verses tondaradi podi so the dust at the feet of bhagavatas our tondaradi podi alvar calls himself in fact he composed two works one was called tirumalai which we recited today and tirupalliyachi also we recited today so tirumalai consisting of 45 verses and tirupalliyachi consisting of only 10 verses 10 pasurams where he wakes up lord ranganatha and at the end of 10 verses when he wakes up lord ranganatha he up, he prays to him for nothing other than making himself as the servant of the bhagavata un adiyar ki enne aatpaduthai palli elundralai please make me enslave me to be the to be the servant of your bhagavata so that's what he wanted from every moment every waking moment he wanted to be the servant of the bhagavatas in fact his tirumalai was 
so beautiful so moving that he he wanted he wanted the 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 he did not want even the worldly and heavenly pleasures ichuvai tavira yan po indre logamalum achuvai perinum vende narangamana garudane and he says vedanul pirayam nur arivaram puguvarenum paadiyum urangi pogum nindradil 17 aande பேதை பாலகன் அதாகும் பிணி பசி மூப்பு துன்பம் அதலால் பிறவி வேண்டேன் அரங்கமான கருடானே ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஹீ சேஸ் இச்சுவை தவிர யான் போ இந்திர லோகமானும் திஸ் த த டேஸ்ட் ஆஃப் பீயிங் ஹியர் இன் ஸ்ரீரங்கம் இட்ஸ் செல்ஃப் இஸ் ஸோ குட் தட் ஐ டு நாட் வாண்ட் த ஹெவன்லி ப்ளஷர் ஐ டு நாட் வாண்ட் ஈவன் டு பி த சீஃப் ஆஃப் த இந்திர லோகம் அண்ட் ஹென்ஸ் ஐ வுட் லைக் டு பி ஹியர் and the next verse he says the the whole life is spent half of the life is spent on sleeping the other half of the life is spent on childhood youth pini disease old age suffering sorrows so where is the time for me to think of you adalal piravi venden hence i do not want any further birth and he says he says even 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 the yama the lord of the demi god of death he tells his dutas he whispers in their ears that do not approach the vishnu bhaga vishnu bhaktas it is not our prerogative to go to vishnu bhaktas and he says here kavalil polanai vaithu kalidannai kadakka paindu navalittu ulidarigindrom namantamar talaigal meede because of the nama sankirtanam we are we are able to get rid of the yama lokam and kalau sankirtya kesham dhyayan krite yajan yajna tretayam dwapare archayanne yada apnoti tada apnoti kalau sankirtya kesham in krita yugam you have to meditate do dhyanam in treta yugam we have to do yajna in dwapara yugam archanam whereas in kali yugam கலவு சங்கீர்த்திய கேசவம் கேசவ சங்கீர்த்தனம் நாம சங்கீர்த்தனம் த கொஸ்டின் மே அரைஸ் நாம் பை டூயிங் நாம சங்கீர்த்தனம் வில் வி கெட் புண்ணியம் டு வி கெட் கேதர் புண்ணியம் த ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஒன்லி பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் புண்ணியம் வி ஆர் ஏபிள் டு டூ நாம சங்கீர்த்தனம் இட் இஸ் பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் த புண்ணியாஸ் தட் வி ஹாவ் அக்ரூவ் ஓவர் த ஏஜஸ் வி ஹாவ் த டெண்டன்சி த மைண்ட் செட் டு பர்ஃபார்ம் நாம சங்கீர்த்தனம் the other way may not we don't know we don't care nama sankirtanam is the ultimate and this nama sankirtanam paramparaya will take us to perform sharanagati at his lotus feet a few verses in the tirumalai will will declare will will highlight the plight of the alvar he and he and he enjoys the whole whole tirumalai by talking about the upadesham to us in the first about 10 verses then arangan's daya then the his own prayer to arangan and perumal does not even let you go away from him that's few verses he talks about that and he also talks about the sharanagati mem borul pogavittik and uh, dvayam charama shlokam all that nuances the essences he talks about he talks about the adiyargals greatness the bhagavata's glory bhagavata vaibhavam regardless of their birth regardless of their caste their color their creed their gender if he is he is a devotee of vishnu devotee of bhakta a devotee of narayana we need to respect them we need to learn we can even learn from him we can teach them kodumin konmin and he says even if you are a chaturvedi if you consider if you if you have a bhagavata apacharam to a another devotee of shriman narayana that very moment you fall down from your brahminhood from your veda virpanna you fall down so he he had so much admiration respect reverence for bhagavatottamas 
and finally in the 45th slokam he talks about the fruit of reciting those verses of course the next one is the triple h which is a multimedia extravaganza he talks about the vision the the beautiful beautiful uh, dawn which is coming up the color the sound the birds chirping and the devatas falling in line to perform the suprabada sevai on lord ranganatha it's a most beautiful composition triple h then we take up our periyanambi periyanambi is is the acharyan of swami ramanuja and periyanambi is uh, has been chosen by lord sri ranganatha to become the acharya of ramanuja swami desikan mentions dayanignam yatindrasya desikam purnamashraye yena viswasrijo vishnor apuryata manoratah swa so, uh, here when when uh, bhagavad ramanuja in his boyhood in his younger days he was like all of us he had so much so many questions rightfully because he is adisheshan he is seshagiri nathan so he had questions doubts so he went and asked trikachi nambi can you ask few doubts which i have from lord varadaraja because trikachi nambi was supposed to be in conversation with lord varadaraja and he went and sought the the clarification for ramanuja's doubts because the vedas talk about idara devatas also veda talk about agni veda talk about indra veda talk about rudra shiva so paratvam he was he wanted to clarify about paratvam and he wanted to know because veda talks about abedam ekameva dvitiyam there is only one nothing else there is no second and the same shruti vakyams talk about there is a jivatma there is a paramatma there are two different atmas like the two birds in the tree like that the shruti talks about so he was confused on that as well he wanted clear cut <coughs> clear cut clarification response then the veda shruti talks about jnanam shruti talks about bhakti bhakti yogam there are very many vidyas nyasa vidyas there are 32 brahma vidyas so what is the right means to attain moksha and also krishna mentions in bhagavad gita about the antima smriti remembering him in the final moments whatever that you remember you would be born as that in your next birth you need to continuously contemplate on the lotus feet of perumal until your last moment so is it is that true then how will be how will we be able to think of him when we are lying like a log of wood so all these question then who is my acharya whom should i whom should i take up ya yarai nan aashrayipade whom should i go to because he was not clear yadava prakashar had had actually planned something scheming he schemed something for him he deserted him he wanted to finish him off so he was not clear as to who should be his acharyan so lord varadaraja through trikachinambi gave the response ahameva paratvam i am the paramatma paratvam lord narayana is the parat paratvam darshanam beda evacha darshanam individual souls are different from paramatma bedam is the darshanam that is the ultimate truth tattvam upa upayeshu prapatti syat prapatti sharanagati unflinching unconditional faith and complete surrender is the means to attain moksha then the fourth statement he gave antima smriti varjanam La, la last remembrance of perumal on the death bed is not mandatory it is it is better but it's not mandatory because you have already performed sharanagati aham tva sarva papebhyo moksha ishyami he says basu chaga do not worry deha avasane mukti syat moksha can be obtained 
attained the moment one drops off the present mortal coil the mortal remains the prapannan would attain moksha at the end of this life purna acharya samashrayam mahapurna periyanambi is the acharyan for ramanuja under whom ramanuja should take refuge and that's the one here vedanta desika mentions that i resort to sri mahapurna periyanambi respectfully he was prompted by overflowing dayai vatsalyam anukampa by lord sri ranganatha to rush to ramanuja to to take him as your shishya and thereby ramanuja would would propagate my darshana he was the preceptor to that yatindra ramanuja he was called mahapurna a very significant and poignant designation rama the, the sampradayam the ramanuja darshanam became purnam became full and complete because of mahapurna purna means a man of perfection a man of completion he would have been merely nominally purna had it not been for his initiating yatindra in the holy in the holy our acharya samp, samp, sampradayam acharya lineage his daya he because lord sri ranganatha said you take ramanuja as your shishya that's all but it was periyanambi who decided that why should i wait for ramanuja to come to sri lanka let me go to ramanuja to in kanchipuram so he was walking towards kanchipuram and when when ramanuja came to know the six statements from trikachinambi he started walking towards sri lanka and they met in madurantakam on the way there was no phone phone message whatsapp that i am on the way started it takes another 45 minutes to reach no such thing they just bumped into each other in madurantakam in fact madurantakam is closer to kanchipuram and away from sri rangam so who had started earlier the acharyan acharyan is the one who started the journey before the shishya which happens to each one of us acharyan is the one who takes the sankalpam to rectify and redeem us so he thought the gentle feet of ramanuja should not suffer a painful walking to sri rangam that's why he came he thus completely fulfilled the dream of ranganatha he should achieve the the reform of the humanity and that's why he he did so much upakaram to us periyanambi is the pivotal link trikachinambi is also the pivotal link for us and then now we go to kura narayana jiyar and this kura narayana jiyar was the shishya of kura talwan and also the shishya of parasara bhatta he he had his kalakshepam from kura talwan and then parasara bhatta kura narayana jiyar was the son of yambar govindar's younger brother and kura narayana jiyar he took sanyasam and he calls himself as kura narayana jiyar he is the one he was supposed to be having sudarshana siddhi he 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 composed sudarshana satakam the 108 stotras of sudarshana 108 shlokams in sudarshana satakam stotram such a beautiful stotra in fact the the discus sudarshana always does whatever the lord wills and in the narsimha avataram also the sudarshana alwan took care of the killing of hiranyakashipu and when perumal when narsimha tore the hiranyakashipu with his nails it seems sudarshana took the form of the nails says kura narayana jiyar in his sudarshana satakam sudarshana's effulgence gets us rid of the agnana it completely dispels the darkness and sudarshana dispels the the sudarshana's brightness the effulgence the splendor is far superior to the sun scotty suryan with his long arms sudarshana is like the kalpaka vriksham kura narayana ji are praised that the the limbs of sudarshana should confer confer the purusharthams 
ಧರ್ಮ ಅರ್ಥ ಕಾಮ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಆನ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ವರ್ಷಿಪ್ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಸತಕಮಿ ಸೋ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಸೋ ಮೆಜೆಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೋ ಎನ್ಶ್ರಾಯಿಂಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಮಂತ್ರಾಂಶ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಸಿಂಗಪುರ್ ಗೋಷ್ಠಿ ಫ್ಯೂ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ನೋ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಶತಕ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಪಾಸ್ ಆನ್ ಟು ದ ಯಂಗ್ಸ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಶತಕ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಕುರನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಿಯರ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಅ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನ ಆನ್ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ರತ್ನ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ದೇಸಿಕನ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ರತ್ನ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನ ಆಫ್ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಆಫ್ ಕುರನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಿಯರ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸೂಕ್ತ ವ್ಯಾಖ್ಯಾನ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಭಾಷ್ಯಂ all this swami desikan refers to in his shrimat ragasya triyasaram and stotra bhashya swami kuranarayana ji also had written a, a brief uh, vyakhyanam on nitya grantham on bhagavad aradhana so he performed kalakshepam from parasara bhatta in fact when he composed to sudar sudarshana satakam the, the the then sri vaishnavas who are supposed to be the paramaikantin they do not pray to parimal for material benefit for getting us rid of the 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 what do i say to get more purushartham to get us a re- removed of the sorrows the grievances all that they attain only the bhagavat kaikaryam they want so they were ta- they were saying that you should not be composing sudarshana satakam to bless us with the ಚ ಚತುರ್ವಿಧ ಪುರುಷಾರ್ಥಂ ಧರ್ಮ ಅರ್ಥ ಕಾಮ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ವೈ ಆರ್ ಯು ದೆನ್ ಕಂಪೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಟು ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಟು ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಅಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ರಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಪಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಅವರ್ ಕುರನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಿಯರ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕ್ವೈಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈವನ್ ಕುರತ್ತಾಳ್ವಾನ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಅಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಂಪೋಸಿಂಗ್ ಸುದರ್ಶನ ಶತಕ ಲೇಟರ್ ವೆನ್ ವೆನ್ plus our arayar tirvaranga permal arayar he had fallen ill and he could not do the kaikaryam at swami sannadhi permal sannadhi so our acharyas went and asked kurana arayana ji to pray to sudarshana to get permal arayar's suffering to get rid of the suffering then he prayed to sudarshana uh, composing the, the praising the sudarshana satakam he recited the sudarshana satakam and then trivaranga permal arayar he became better he recovered from his illness so such was the greatness of sudarshana uh, our sudarshana satakam as well as the composer our acharya sri kuranarayana ji so he was the first jeer of the sri rangam permal uh, permal kovil and then of course the lineage still follows so ಪರಾಸರ ಭಟ್ಟಾರ್ಯ ಶಿಷ್ಟಂ ಶ್ರೀರಂಗ ಪಾಲಕಂ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಮುನಿಮ್ಮಂದೇ ಜ್ಞಾನಾನಿ ಗುಣಸಾಗರ ಈಸ್ ದ ತನಿಯನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕುರನಾರಾಯಣ ಜಿಯರ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಗೋ ಟು ಅವರ್ ಪುನರ್ಪೋಸ ನಕ್ಷತ್ರ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಎಂಬಾರ್ ಎಂಬಾರ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ನೋ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕಝನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತಿರುಮಲೈ ನಂಬಿ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹಿಸ್ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಮೆಟರ್ನ ಮೆಟರ್ನಲ್ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಅವರ್ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೋವಿಂದರ್ ದ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಬಾರ್ ದೆ ಬೋಟ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಡ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಅವರ್ ಯಾದವ ಪ್ರಕಾಶ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ರಿಡ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೋವಿಂದರ್ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ಹಿ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆನ್ ದಟ್ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ಲಿ ದಟ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಟು ರಾಮಾನುಜ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ವಾಸ್ ಸೇವ್ಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಎಂಬಾರ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಗೋವಿಂದರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಹಿ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಶಿವಲಿಂಗ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯಾ ವಿಚ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇ ಆಫ್ ಯಾದವ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಬೈ ಹಿ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಅ ಶಿವ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಇನ್ ಕಾಳಹಸ್ತಿ ಹಿ ಬಿಕೇಮ್ ಅ ಶಿವ ಡಿವೋಟಿ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಅಭಿಷೇಕ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೂಜಾ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಲಿಂಗ ಮೀನ್ ವೈಲ್ ರಾಮಾನುಜ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ತ್ರಿಮಲ and he he wanted to learn the ramayana from tirumalai nambi there he told tirumalai nambi of our govindar so he felt bad that he could not he could not uh, get govindar so he acha he asked requested acharya to gift him with govinda butter 
who was very obedient and a true seeker of jnana so swami tirumalai nambi understood ramanuja's future plan through govinda and hence he went along with his shishyas group to govinda where he was in kalahasti and he was narrating shrimad ramayanam shrimad bhagavatam and all that so there was govinda was not uh, getting transformed because he he year shot into govinda's ears still govinda could not get convinced but he continued then he started with tiruvaimali bhagavad vishayam kalakshetam then that's the time here devum eppurulum padaikka poovil naan muganai padaitha devan emberumalukkallal poovum pooshanayum tagumo tagume when trimalai nambi uttered this verse the govinda who was plucking flowers from the vilva maram and he was he jumped from the tree fell at the feet of trimalai nambi tagade tagade because it was already brewing and it was perumal sankalpam that this particular pasuram was strong enough influential enough to completely transform govinda into an obedient ardent faithful shishya of bhagavad ramanuja he dropped everything and became a sri vaishnavite became a shishya of bhagavad ramanuja devum eppurulum padaikka poovil naan moganai padaitha devan emberumanukkallal poovum pooshanayum taguve the one who had created who had brought out chaturmukha brahma in order to create devas and all objects all beings and other than such shriman narayana is the flower required for anyone else that was the crux the crude translation of that of that pasuram so that was enough for him to hit the nail on his head so yambar is the one who was an ardent disciple paramavairagi he became a sanyasi and called he was called as yambar acharya and acharya 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 ramanuja himself used to be overwhelmed with with yambar's bhakti with yambar's anubhava so here here when of course when uh, yambar used to even call, shed tears when he sees a snake snake having a thorn in his tongue he he had such a vaadi apaire khanda podellam vaadine vaishnava janato he had such a heart of a sri vaishnava that he could not see the fellow being suffering that was the greatness of embar makaya here embar tai punar posam here appuchi kaattu manna there was a there was a um, beautiful anecdote that when the tiruvaranga perumal when the arayars were enacting doing the abhinayam for pasuram appuchi kaattu manna they were showing puchi like uh, like gesticulation with their hands like a bhutam or by showing some terrible form they had shown and when they repeated that line again they were showing shank chakra for a puchi kaatta manna because when the small boys were playing they used to raise their eyelid so that the red the pink the pink flesh will be visible so in order to scare the fellow boys so that was being uttered by periyalwar in his tirumal in his periyalwar tirumal here when krishna does that leela to his fellow boys he was he need not do all such thing he could simply show his shank chakra in order to scare the fellow boys that was yambar who showed such a gesticulation to arayar and arayar got the message and in the next line when he said again repeated appuchi kaattu manna he showed shank chakra and when ramanuja was sitting in the front row when he saw the difference between the first line and the second line the abhinayam he naturally looked back to check 
if Govinda is there because he must have had this beautiful Anubhavam, must have point out, pointed out and mimed to Araya. He could correctly, rightfully guess. That was the Anubhavam of Embar. It's our fortune that we are able to enjoy the Alvar Acharyas today. The next one is the most greatest Alvar, who is the Chakraida Amsam, Chakratalvan Amsam. We just saw the Sudarshana Satakam's glory. He is the Chakraida Chakratalvan Amsam, and he is Tirmaishay Alvar. Makaya Makare Mash Makha Makaya Makare Mashe Chakramsam Bargavod Baram Bhavam Magishara Pura Desham Bhakti Saram Aham Bache. Here, the Chakratalvan, Amsam, Trivaisha Yalvar, he, was, he took birth in the Maka Nakshatra. Trivaisha Yalvar is the fourth among the Alvar, after Mudal Alvar, in the same period as the first three Alvar. He appeared in the place called Magishai, Magishai, in Sanskrit Magishara. He is, and hence is, he is called Tirumayishai Alvar. But he is also known by the name Bhakti Sara, which means he is the very personification of intense Bhakti. Though he was born as a child to Bhargava, Maharishi and Kanakangi, he was born as a stillborn, like a lump of flesh. So they were so feeling sad that the, the, the birth was only a lump of flesh. So they threw it in the bush and they walked away. Then when the, when the Divya Dampati blessed with their Katakshan, the baby, the, the lump of flesh became a lively baby. And that lively baby was picked up by a Vedalar. And he was brought up by this person who belonged to the fourth caste. So he, he grew up by that Kulam. And he had learnt, he had learnt trying all religions, all doctrine, Buddhism, Jainism, Advaita. He was also a staunch devotee of Shiva with a name called Shiva Vakya. Payalvar is the one who argued with him, showed him evidences from Vedam, Shruti and Smriti to claim Sriman Narayana as the Supreme Deity. And finally initiated him into Sri Vaishnava doctrine and named him Bhakti Sara. Alvar himself says, Sakyam Katrom, Shaman Katrom, Shankarana Rakhi Agamanu Larindo, Patiya Shankat Kariyanai Shendo, Yam Tidilame, Yankat Kariyan, Yankat Karit Yan Tondril. So, Yankat Kariyat Tondril, after my efforts to know the, know the Supreme Tatvam, Supreme Principle, Supreme Lord, by learning Jainism, by learning Buddhism, by the Shaivite philosophy. And now I have been blessed by Sriman Narayana to take refuge at the lotus feet of Sriyapati Sriman Narayana and have escaped all problems and misfortunes. Bhakti Sarar, he, he went everywhere. And of course, we know about the Kanikkandan, Pohindran, Kamaru, Punkachi. Manivanna Nikidakka Venda Shenna Pulavanum Pohindre Niyum Mundan Painaga Pai Shurutikkol When his Shishya Kanikkanan was, was asked to get out, get away from the kingdom by, by, the, lo, by the local king because the king wanted Trimaisha Alvar to sing in praise of him and to change him into a youthful man with his power of course, he, he told Kanikandan to inform that to his Guru, Trimaishi Alva. Kanikandan said, no way, Marandu Puramthala Mandar. He doesn't even pay, bow down to the either a Devatas. Why to talk about you? Nakkundu Manidam Pade. And Kanikandan is, so when he, Kanikandan was going out of Kanchi, Trimaishi Alva came to know and he said, Perman, you also pack up. Kanikandan is going out of Kanchi Manivanna. I am also living with him. You don't have to lie down here anymore. You also load, roll your serpent, Naga, and follow me. And our Lord followed. Yatotkari Perimal, Sonna Vannam Shaida Perimal, Obedient Perimal. 
the next next day when the king came to know that the temple is desolated complete darkness everywhere he realized his folly he realized his mistake and rushed immediately to chase he caught them on the way that place is called or irikai one night they had stayed there so they prostrated at, at them and regretting for what he had done requested them to forgive him for his apacharam and to come back to kanchipuram and here he says kanikkan nan pokkolindan kamaroopu kanchi mani vanna nee kidakka vendum shanna pulavanum pokkolinde neeyum mundan painnaga paai virithukkol now that everything is clear you come back to kanchipuram so that even now perumal perumal reclines on the other direction to show that he had gone and come back of course there were very many very many incidents in this wonderful alwar how he had established his greatness how he composes his his verses and his 120 verses on trichanda vrittam is so powerful so majestic so lilting is nanmugan tiruvandadi and the, like the mudal mudal andadis mudal noor andadis and the trichanda vrittam the nanmugan tiruvandadi it upholds it declares in a, in an unparalleled manner the supremacy of vishnu as against devendra brahma shiva and he who are accorded the subordinate status and he is of considerable importance to vaishnava acharyas of post ramanuja period and the second work the trichanda vrittam is an excellent poetic composition in fact in fact the the each one is so wonderful that the trichanda vrittam he says he says nirantaram nan ninaikka nee ninaikka vendume in order for me to contemplate you you have to think of shriman narayana he also mentions that that ini arinden eesharkum ini arinden eesharkum nan mogarkum devam ini arinden emperuvan unnai இனி அறிந்தேன் காரணன்னி கற்றவைனி கற் கற்பவைனி நற்கிரிசை நாரணன்னி நன்கறிந்தேன் நான் வாட் அ லவ்லி பாசுரம் வாட் அன் அசர்டிவ் பாசிட்டிவ் எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ்ட் ட்ரூத் ஸ்ட்ராங்லி கிவன் டு அஸ் ஹி ஹேட் சர்ச் எவ்ரி வேர் ஹி வென்ட் இன் டு டு லேர்ன் ஆல் ரிலிஜன்ஸ் அண்ட் கேம் பேக் ஹி வாஸ் ஹி ஹஸ் பிளெஸ்ட் அஸ் வித் திஸ் கிரேட்டஸ்ட் ட்ரூத் எம்பெருமானே இனி அறிந்தேன் ஈஷர்க்கும் நான்முகர்க்கும் தெய்வம் i have now learnt known about you who is the lord of chaturmukha brahma who is the lord of shivan who is my lord also ini arinden emperuvan unnai ini arinden i have learnt karananni you are the cause kattravaini you are the one who had learnt all that we are going to know you are the essence of all that has been known you are the one who is so merciful to protect narkirishai you are the one who has got the daya to protect us and without expecting anything in return from us narananni you are naranan antar bahishcha tat sarva vyapya narayana sthitaka you are the one who is inside and outside of everything and everyone you have such most grandest auspicious attributes with you nanga arinde nan i i i have now been blessed with if the crystal clear knowledge what a way who he was so straight forwarded so outspoken so fearless and established the oneness and supremacy of shri man narayana and of our shri vaishnava adiye bhagyam dhanyosmi kavitarka simhaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha dhanyosmi adiye